गुड मॉर्निंग मैम माई ने मिस सौरव आर्या रोल नंबर थर्टी सेवन फ्रॉम बी टेक सी एस ई फोर्थ सेमिस्टर टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू गिव अ प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन टॉपिक प्री सेटेबल काउंटर्स द डेफिनेशन ऑफ प्री सेटेबल काउंटर इज द प्री सेटेबल काउंटर इज द बेसिक बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक डेट कैन बी यूज टू इम्प्लीमेंट अ काउंटर डेट हैज एनी मॉड्यूलर्स नाउ द बाइनरी फोर बेट सिंक्रोनाइज अप काउंटर the pin out and the logic diagram for 54 by 74163 synchronized four bit counter are given in figure the pin output contains a logic board block diagram for the unit the power requirements are vcc and the ground on pin 16 and 8 respectively the clock is applied on pin 2 and you will notice from the diagram that the output change states on positive clock transitions the two enable inputs p on p7 and t on pin 10 are used to control the counter if either enable input is low the counter will cease to advance both of these inputs must be high for the counter to count a low level on the clear input will reset all flip flop outputs low at very next clock transition regardless at the level on the enable inputs this is called synchronous reset on the other end note that the 54 by 74161 has a synchronous clear since it occurs immediately when the clear input goes low regardless of the level on the clock enable or load inputs when a low level is applied to the load input the counter is disabled and the very next positive clock transition will set the flip flops to agree with the levels present on the four data points that is a b c d for the counter to count upwards in its normal binary count sequence it is necessary to hold the enable inputs p and t the load input and the clear input all high under these condition the counter will advance one count for each positive clock transition processing from count 0000 up to count 1111 and then repeating the sequence here is the uh, figure as shown uh, there are enable inputs on is low the counter will cease to advance both of these input must be high for the counter to count now the state diagram given in the figure a is a normal count sequence where each block correspond to one count and the arrows show how the counter progress from one state to another here uh, it is a simple method to use the nand gate to decode the maximum count desired and use the output of this nand gate to clear the counter synchronously to count 0000 the counter will then count from 000 up to maximum desired count and then clear back to 000 the nand gate used to decode the count 9 along with the modified state diagram as shown in figure b and c respectively note that it is necessary to use two inverters to obtain qb and qc the modified state diagram has solid boxes for the state in modified mod 10 counter and d dash boxes for the omitted state now we move forward towards the uh, synchronous up down counters the 45 by 74193 is a 4 bit synchronous up down binary counter it has master reset input and can be reset to any desired count with the parallel inputs 
The logic symbol for this TTL MSI is shown in a figure PL is a control input for loading data into pins PA, PB, PC, PD. The output TCUD and TCU are to be used to drive the following units such as in cascade arrangement. The clock inputs uh, CU and CPD placing the clock on CPU will cause the counter to count up and placing the clock on CPD will cause the counter to count down. Notice that the clock should be connected to either CPU and CPD but not both. The unused input should be held high. The output of the uh, counters are QA, QB, QC and QD. Now, the state diagram is a simple drawing which shows the stable states of the counter as well as how the counter progress from one count to next. The state diagram is for 54 by 74193 is shown in figure B. Now, the each box represents a stable state and the arrows indicates the count sequence for both count up and count down operations. Now this is a 4 bit presetable counters. There are 16 stable states numbered from 0 till 15. Now here we have another technique for modifying the count. The simply we use a NAND gate to detect any of the stable state say state 15 and use this gate output to take PL low. The only time PL will be low is when QD, QC, QB and QA are all high or state 15. At this time the counter will be preset to the data PB, PC, PD and PA. Now here the count sequence is easily shown by the this state diagram. Notice that the count 15 is no longer a stable state since it is the short time during which the counter is preset. The stable state in this example are uh, from starting from 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now this is a mod 6 counter. Notice that this technique is and or synchronous since the preset action is not in synchronism with this clock. Therefore, you should be aware that counting spikes or glitches may be associated with the output of these presetting arrangements. Now, we move towards the example for the clarity. Suppose that the counter just discussed is still preset to 1001 but the clock is applied to count down rather than count up now the question is what are the counting states and what are the modulus here i repeat the question again suppose that the counter just discussed is still preset to 1001 but the clock is applied to count down rather than count up. Now the question is what are the counting states and what is the modulus? By referring to this diagram, we can surely say that the counter will count to 15 and then set back to 9 and then this cycle repeats like 9 then the counter goes from 9 to 8, then to 7, then to 6, then to 5, then to 4, 3, 2, 1, likewise till 50. And it will preset to the 9. And this cycle goes on. Now, the answer for the question what is modulus is by showing this diagram, we can say that the modulus is clearly 10. Here, I stop. I have completed my presentation. I hope you would like this presentation. Thank you ma'am and have a nice day.